it's Nathan from The Guardian Project. Anyhow, welcome back to a long overdue update on the Clean Insights Project. Here we are, cleaninsights.org, the website where you can go to learn everything you need to know about the project. Get all the links that I'll be talking about today. Get contact info for us, the Clean Insights team, Guardian Project, and to get started. And that's what today's video is about, is to show you how easy it is to get started by doing a quick integration into an existing app. If you go to GitLab, you will see the Clean Insights Android SDK as implemented and led by our uh, main developer, Benjamin Earhart. And so by adding Jitpack to your um, Gradle repository list, you can integrate Clean Insights very easily. So now I know this is the Android SDK. I can see how I can integrate it. And we'll also see if you look in the project up here, there is an app folder. In that app folder is a full example project. We recommend that you get that sample code and um, build that to see how that works. But we can also go to a real project. And so today we're going to go to the Open Archive project. This is one of our partners. Yeah, we helped them build a media secure mobile media preservation application that enables media to be backed up easily to a number of secure and private controlled cloud instances but also the internet archive and dropbox so save app android is the android application for save it's here and i'm going to show now how to integrate clean insights into that project so let me switch this over so this source code is um in Java for this project, hasn't made the Kotlin migration yet. But. So I'm gonna come down to the bottom and add um, measurement as a comment. We're gonna add measurement in. I'm jumping back to the Android SDK to grab the implementation line. And remember I saw the last release was 2.4.0. So that is, um, what I put in there. Seems like it found it. So I think I'm going to add a init measurement method. Now we want to put this into um, the main app class because we want to have a sort of a global instance of Clean Insights. We don't want to initiate it over and over again and Clean Insights itself doesn't manage a singleton instance of itself. So I'm going to add the new clean insights from the new SDK um, org.cleaninsights.sdk.cleaninsights. It's excellent. It's what we need. And then here uh, I'm going to initialize clean insights. Okay. And so then what I want to do is yeah, so I can use IO utils, I can use a number of other utilities to um, read the stream fully to get the bytes, and then um, I can turn those bytes into a string. That's one easy way to do this. So um, I read all the bytes from this config file, make a string, I pass that here. If the config file isn't there, it'll throw an exception. And I could say, you know, um, clean insights config JSON not found. Now let's talk about this clean insights.json file in the assets. If I go to assets, I'll see it's not there, so I need to create it. And I'll go back to the sample class to pull from that one. Now the sample is using a local instance of the Matomo uh, proxy, but if you're using our um, public test bed, for instance, you can use the path of that with the cleaninsights.org path there. And then you'd want to use the site ID that you've configured. You can also just use one. 
Actually, we'll just use one for now. I can configure a timeout of, you know, uh, how long should I try to hold network traffic if, you know, five makes sense. You don't want it to sit around and delay and block on a network transaction or anything, so five is fine. Debugging, turn it on, leave it on. And then the, um, the configuration information here for the campaign. A campaign is um, different from what we call, than Matomo calls a campaign. This is a period of uh, a range of measurement, a specific uh, cons uh, set of uh, time and rules around what to measure or like when to measure, well, window of measurement, and um, how long that measurement should be, and how you know the period of measurement that you use. And the um, but for instance, say it is I just want to do a measurement for the month of April. Okay, so or maybe the first two weeks. So I'm going to do a two week measurement. The length of the aggregation period is uh, how many days and then the number of periods uh, through that day. So if I say um, the day is one and the period should be 15, right? That would make the most sense. You could have, you know, I've set these time and start dates, but I could do, you know, 30 and say, well, I only want one day 15 still. Um, so the, the date, start, and end are this kind of hard bounds around time. Um, but really what you're saying is aggregate data for my measurements over one day and then do that over 15 days. So at this point, we've integrated the dependency of the library. We've implemented the bootstrapping of the Clean Insights main um, instance in our application and now we are integrating it into the main activity. So we've also defined our configuration file in the JSON. And so here if I look at this class I realize what I would want to measure is um, the kinds of media um, like, like that's being imported perhaps. So that's um, definitely what I am going to measure. So I'm going to look for um, there's an import media method that we have. And then I'll implement here, when we import media, the um, measurement of uh, by MIME type, by the type of media being imported. So we have a do measurement method that I've implemented, and here's the MIME type. So I can say how many video files, how many photos, for instance, were, um, or JPEGs versus PNGs. So here now I get my instance of Clean Insights. I can always get that from the application object. I've implemented a check in my own preferences of um, whether consent has been granted or not. I can set that in, in a flag, um, and that's something, uh, yeah, that I can do. If, pers if consent has been already granted, this is an important step to make sure, then I can measure event. So Clean Insights, measure event. The category is media. It's just an arbitrary string I made up. The action is import-media. Again, I can choose anything I want there. The campaign that we defined before in the configuration file is called April. And the value that I'm recording uh, is mime type. That's the, the name of the action. And um, the value is one. So one video import media action under the category media was measured. Now, if I don't have consent, I then need to show a consent user interface. So this sample file can be taken from the sample project. In the Android SDK, there's an existing Java consent request UI there that shows you the basics of what you want to do. I think we'll have future um, videos and tutorials on more sophisticated consent that we've designed um, UX that you can utilize and at some point reusable code for that. So this gives you a bare bones dialog box. You can see the consent UI. I request consent. I give it the campaign April. I pass this implementation of a basic consent UI. And then as a callback, it'll tell me if it was granted, it's a Boolean. And if consent was granted, I can set my give consent 
flag. I might, maybe I should call that gave consent. Um, and then I can measure the event when consent was given. And I can measure the same event I measured up here to make sure I capture that. And so that's it. That's the basic flow of ask for, check if consent's given. If consent has been given, then measure. This is kind of the most simplistic uh, model for how we think about measurement and consent. You may want to do something more sophisticated, you know, thinking about when to ask for feedback. You know, it, it's not just sort of fully opt in, opt out. You can ask about specific features. You can ask about specific needs or concerns. Maybe when something fails, you can ask, can we measure? So thinking about when those moments are um, is important. The other thing we want to talk about is aggregation. So when you're measuring something like a, a, by MIME type, all of these values over the measurement period are being aggregated and added up. Nothing's being sent to the server as an individual event. And so the server just gets right now once a day, um, a uh, or yeah, or when the, de defined in the configuration file, it gets the values aggregated. So it might have ten videos and five images. So that's important um, related to that aggregation. I could also um, do other things with thresholds and say, look, I really don't want to measure until you know a certain state of been reached as the user added more than five items or more than 10 items or have they used the app you know is it has it been a week since they installed the application there's other ways you can threshold your measurements so that's measure event i want to show one other idea which is um, measuring a view we're trying to understand in clean insights do people ed know how to edit their projects and change settings are they finding that screen because it can be a little bit buried perhaps so in here, I just want to measure that the edit project screen has been viewed. And I can do that um, in um, on resume. Let's see where, where the uh, where that is. I think I put it ah, here. Again, I can check if consent has been given. So this time in this screen, I wouldn't necessarily want to um, ask again for consent, um, but Here I can um, check if there's consent, and if so, I can measure a visit to the April projects um, campaign or use just the same April campaign. And then um, instead of a, a action, I'm just measuring a set of paths. And we only have one, edit project. But I could add another path if I wanted to measure how they got here. So I could put main, I could have a number of paths. And then that would give me a measurement, a kind of hierarchical list of um, a view path. And that's it. And then that will be the visit again will just be aggregated up into, you know, at some point a user visited this page um, in this period. So not a specific timestamp or anything like that. Um, it'll just give you in that interval of a day somewhere, you know, it happened. And that's it. So at this point, if I can run the app, um, all of this code is active. I get the prompts, I get the callbacks, all of that's working. And after my interval uh, uh, expires in the measurement, I'll start seeing data on the server. So we'll, in a future um, video, we can show what it looks like on the Matomo backend, how you can see visits and events. But for now, you can see how easy it is to get this building, get this integrated into your project through just a very small amount of dependencies and just a little bit uh, of code. So thanks for watching and we're here and ready to help you integrate Clean Insights into your application, be it Android, um, iOS, macOS, Python on a variety of systems, Node.js. We've got you covered and we're ready to help you gain more insights on how to make your services and software more effective uh, for your users. Thanks.